Some day, this is all going to end, you know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> heavy. I guess heavy. What is with you guys for Cape Former? We're back in the building for yet another movie reaction, you guys. Today we're watching Schindler's List from 1993. I am pretty sure this is yet another film that needs no real introduction. Um, directed by Steven Spielberg. An historical drama that was directed by the Steven Spielberg. Um, I do have a reaction to another historical drama that Spielberg directed, uh, Saving Private Ryan. That was very moving. Um, this movie definitely came out before that, and I'm expecting it to be just as hard hitting also fyi i did take a poll on my patreon to see what next war movie people wanted me to see and schindler's list won by far so definitely check out the patreon if you want to be included in the next poll of what movie i will watch next hit the like and subscribe button for your boy and without further ado let's do what it do <laughs> Zucker, Helena. Zucker, Helena. Here's Sullivan. You'd hope there'd be a more organized way for them to do that. Reminds me of the damn DMV. Here, you know who that man is? I know. It's the young Liam Neeson. Yeah, I wasn't sure before, but this black and white is a very good creative decision. I also wasn't sure before, but I feel like this is the same song that they played during that like dance scene in True Lies. They know him. Find out who he is. Yes, sir. How are you doing? You leave a woman alone at the table in a place like this? <laughs> Sweetheart, you're the picture of loneliness. Okay, that was smooth as hell. Young Liam Neeson's the killer. I have an excellent German that is like 1937. French, about the Chateau 28, 29. Who is that man? That Oscar Schindler. Why don't you stop for Itzhak Stern? Stern. <laughs> I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. Meet what? Bought some pants? By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German. So there we are. Hmm. Once the war ends, forget it. But for now, it's great. You can make a fortune, don't you think? I think most people right now have other priorities. They put up all the money. I do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking what you do? I'd make sure it's known the company's in business. I'd see that it had a certain panache. That's what I'm good at. Not the work. Not the work. The presentation. He's a damn good salesman. Would have convinced me. But shoe polish. In metal containers? You ask for shoe polish. In metal containers. Metal this containers. is glass. It's not what I asked for. This is not my problem. This is not his problem. This is not your problem. This is not my problem. All right. <laughs> Somebody's problem. The German army wants to find out where it came from. Hello. Whoa, dude, this guy's everywhere. Me for interfering, but that's a nice shirt. Do you have any idea how much a shirt like this costs? Oh, nice things cost money. I'm going to need some other things too as things come up. This won't be a problem from time to time. He's a hard guy to say no to, huh? Why is that? That's terrible, man. <laughs> they have to leave with whatever they have on their backs. Come on, they're not as bad as everyone says. Well, they're worse than everyone says, but it's a lot of money. <laughs> a lot. 
funny in the third girl bed. You look like a clown, you know. <laughs> not good enough. It's not good enough. Not good enough. Look where you're living. Look where you've been put. Fair would be a percentage on the company. <laughs> Forget the whole thing. Get out. The Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. But it's less. It's less than what they would pay a Pope. Poles cost more. Why should I hire Paul? What? I'm a musician. What if you don't? Your name goes on a list? I hear your name goes on a list and they put you on trucks. No, 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 that's not true. You're not essential. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. No blow shine, sir. Stand over there. Move. Next. Non-essential. That sounds familiar. It's scary that that sounds very familiar. But be very careful unless you want your fingers to become part of the teapot. How is your typing? Uh, all right. Please. <laughs> Did you have to watch all of them? <laughs> Sheesh. That came along quick. Those who take advantage of economic hard times or war-torn times always come out on top a good doctor a forgiving priest and a clever accountant i'm trying to thank you i'm saying i couldn't have done this without you get out of here i feel like this guy's gonna end up being like the scar face of world war ii Ask about me. Back home? I won't soon forget the name Schindler here. I can tell you that. Oscar Schindler, they'll say. You can't create this thing. And it makes all the difference in the world between success and failure. Luck. War. Never thought of it that way, but he's absolutely right. He just took advantage of a bad situation. Well, bad relative to everybody else. You know, at first you think he might be some kind of guy with some evil plot, but the more you watch, you just tend to understand he's just a guy with a dream. I work hard for you. I'm sure you do. I continue to work hard for you. That's great. Thanks. Man, Got just ask for a raise, so. man. Go, go, drive. Don't bother. Did you happen to notice that that man had one arm? Did he? How? Very useful. Success. He's a nice old man. He's good for morale. You shouldn't think of them as yours, Oscar. You need to understand that some of the officers here don't give a damn about production. Come with me. I oh, am no. An essential worker. Essential worker. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Don't bother him. I work for Oscar Schindler. Danke, look at the snow. Look at the snow. Look at the snow. Oh! I lost a worker. I expect to be compensated. Bro, I thought they were just going to send him home. Well, I wish they would just send him home. Economics was a treasonable idea. Oh, my God. That is horrible. Jesus, that was dark. It's like they were happy to do it. This gentleman thinks a mistake's been made. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. If it leaves with him on it, it'll disrupt production and the armaments board will want to know why. Thank you very much. I think I can guarantee you, you'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. <laughs> Good day. 
You gotta love the way this man works. Sign here. Wow. He really got him off. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. What if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? That's crazy how fast they make that happen. One day without your work permit and they're shipping your ass off. I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. <laughs> Only to discover I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. <laughs> you laugh at that? I have to laugh. You're living. I gotta laugh through the pain. This street divides the ghetto just about in half. Right side, get to A. Do you have any questions, sir? Yeah, well, it's top down. I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> One of you is a very lucky girl. Yeah, I doubt that. There is a, an opening for a job away from all this backbreaking work at the new villa. Helen Hughes. What? <coughs> Helen Hughes. What? I can't hear. Hey, Commander. The entire foundation has to be torn down and report. They're gonna ignore her, aren't they? Shoot her. And then they're gonna blame. Oh my God, no! Hey, Commandant, I'm only trying to do my job. You're joking. Shoot her. Here. You're joking. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. No. I can't watch, I can't watch them just kill innocent people like that anymore. Like I've seen people shot and killed a hundred different times in movies, but it is something different and cold in this movie. By this evening, those six centuries are a rumor. They never happened. Today is history. Bro, just imagine that kind of fear. You just go day to day not knowing if they're just going to shoot and kill you for looking at them wrong. What's going on? Oh, they're eating it. Jesus God. Yo, they got the nerve. Yo, these soldiers are mentally deranged. It just... Oh, no. That could have been life or death. That was life or death. Oh no, come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bro, you can't get used to this. You can't. Dude, every time they shoot somebody, it like feels like it's real. There's something. Oh, wait. Is that poison? They put them out of their misery before they even came. And there's no discrimination. It's like they kill women, kids. I, 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 they probably kill a baby. Room for you. What are you talking about? We tried it before. There's more than enough room. I changed my mind. Oh. Oh, look at the space in there. Now look at me. You are just scared. I can. Commandant! <laughs> I respect for the report. I've been given orders to clear the bundles from the road. Oh, be under the stairs. They'll be down searching soon. You'll be safe there. Please hide. They got the kids doing this too, man. Under the stairs. No, what is she doing back? She's supposed to be hiding. Come with me. I will put you in the good line. 
kid, you better not be playing. saying enough. Life is still life. You are not a boy anymore. I'm saying a blessing for you. I hope they could trust that kid. <laughs> I hope they could trust that kid. I will lose it. Who's little red coat? And why is she the only one in color? Bro, is she real? Or is that just a figment of his imagination? Oh no. Why is she hiding by herself? Bro, please tell me nothing happens to her. Bro, scenes where kids die just tear me up. No, no, no. Bro, what is he doing? How would you be playing the piano right now? I wish this fucking light were over. They're just lighting up this whole city, man. Literally. Lighting it up. <laughs> Bro, they killed all of his workers. All of it! Shall The worst is over. We are workers now. Somehow I don't believe that. Oh no. Oh, what is he doing? Oh god. He's just shooting the people that aren't working fast enough or to his liking. Look at him. Act like this is sport. Like he's duck hunting. Brush factory. Another for reprocessing this is sick, Jewish man. clothing from the ghetto. This is making me sick. <laughs> but again, I give the movie props for not shying away from the realism. I have to know, where do you get a, a suit like that? Uh, what is that? Is that silk? Of course. Thank you. Very nice. I'd say I'd get you one, but the man who made it is probably dead. I don't know. Yeah, probably. They're not gone. They're here. They're mine! Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. Every worker that is shot costs me money. I have to find somebody else. I have to train them. We're going to be making so much money. None of this is going to matter. It's bad business. This is a real awkward meeting. He just coming to them asking, please stop killing my workers. And the Nazi's like, mm. You don't want anybody telling you what to do. I can understand all that, you know. What you want is your own sub camp. <sighs> this is the mark again. Goldberg and Mikhailovich, make sure I see my cut from the. Um... Don't forget who you are working for now. His eyes just said, I'll kill you if you try anything. But I'm pretty sure he didn't have to say it. SS contacts, list, lower drawer of my desk, which you handle as cash contributions to legitimate charities sent, of course, through each official's office. Put these in your pocket. Come on. What are you making? Hinges, sir. Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. What I don't understand is that you've been working since, I think, what, about six this morning. Yet, such a small pile of hinges. Come on, man. Don't. Don't kill him. Oh, Christ. Man, do I that, sir? <laughs> Check the angle lever, maybe it's then. Are you guys serious? You wouldn't hear a click, it was the angle lever, it's the pin. Uh, <laughs> the second I gun, too? Put on to shove it. To stop, guys. Oh, yo. It has to be the worst thing ever. I know they just gave that man like heaps of PTSD. He's gonna flinch every time he hears a click. Nobody knows who stole the chicken. Hmm? 
Kind of works now. So, so does that one. Smart kid. Um, Ms. Elsa Carl is here. She wants to speak to the hair director. They say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. For now. I ask one thing. Whether or not a worker has certain skills. That's what I ask and that's what I care about. My father is an importer, not a metal worker. Such she activities are illegal. To get forced you will not entrap me, Miss Strasser. You have to understand. Gert is under enormous pressure. You have to think of it in his situation. And he's got the war. Which brings out the worst in people. Never the good, always the bad. Always the bad. A man who loves good food, good wine. The ladies making money. Killing. He can't enjoy it. I beg to differ. He shot the man to the left of Bieski, the man to the right of him. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. The man's deranged. He sees it as a sport. I'm Schindler. Of course, I, I have heard and uh, shot a woman who was passing by. A woman carrying a bundle through the throat, just, just, just a woman on her way somewhere. You know, she, she was no fatter or thinner or slower or faster than anyone else, and I couldn't guess what had she done. He enjoys you so much, he won't even let you wear the star. He doesn't want anyone else to know it's a Jew. You're never drunk. Oh, that's that's real control. Control is power. That's power. And the emperor pardons him. This worthless man. He lets him go. I think you are drunk. <laughs> Who's talking? That's power. I pardon you. <laughs> this psycho has the nerve to laugh. She was smoking on the job. I'll tell her not to do it again. Wow. He really is changing. Soap, not lie. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. Damn, man. Overnight. Just overnight, he dropped the whole murderous psycho commander role. So what the hell? Oh, no. Stupid of me to think. He may have changed. If you need a reference after the war, I'd be, be happy to give you one. It must get lonely down here, you know, listening to everyone upstairs having such a good time. I mean, when, when they compare you to, to uh, vermin and to rodents and to lice, is this the face of a rat? Are these the eyes of a rat? Hath not a Jew eyes. Bro, what did he do to her? Or what did she see him do? She's petrified. I don't think you were supposed to do that. Head down a big corridor to bunkers with stars of David on the doors and signs that said bath and inhalation room. The SS gave them so. They told them to 
breathe all the time because it's good for disinfecting. What sense does it make to kill your own workforce? To go to all this trouble of assembling a workforce only to... It's because they enjoy it. It's their sick, twisted entertainment. Look alive, Rebecca. Bro, what are they doing? No, 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 no. Wait, go away. She can work. Come here. Look. Separate the sick from the healthy. Those who can work and those who can't. She can work. Whenever I see kids in this movie, I get so nervous. Why are they taking them? Oh no. They just took their kids without them knowing? Damn. Come on kid, find somewhere. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus. And they still trying to kick the kid out. Oh, my God. It's always Schindler that has to remind them to have some type of human decency. We can reach the cars at the end. I think it's funny. Every time the train stops, you open the doors, you give them water, yeah? Yeah, vote. Yeah. This car! You can tell Schindler knows this is all wrong. Like, he says it's all for business, but... You can tell that... He feels for these people. I kissed a Jewish girl. That's what that was. <laughs> Did your brake fall off? <laughs> Would have never guessed that was uh, the actual law to that. She was Jewish. She shouldn't have done it. But you didn't see this girl. I saw this girl. They cast a spell on you, you know, the Jews. When you work closely with them, like I do, you see this. They have this power. It's like a virus. Some of my men are infected with this virus. We give your Jewish girls at five marks a day, Oscar. You should kiss us, not them. <laughs> God forbid you ever get a real taste for Jewish skirt. There's no future in it. They don't have a future. Oh, no, that is not snow. And snowing the bodies of more than 10,000 Jews killed at Plaza and the Krakow Ghetto Massacre. 10,000? Can you believe this? As if I don't have enough to do, they come up with this. Not the little red coat girl. This is heavy, man. This is heavy. Some day, this is all going to end. I think I better have it now. Mm. That's sad, man. Hmm. <laughs> Heavy. I guess heavy. I Damn. Understand. He wasn't Actually, joking about that money. You want All you have to do is tell me what it's worth to you. What's a person worth to no, you? No, 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 no. What's one worth to you? Don't try to hustle a hustler. The children. All the children. Bro, is he trying to remember all their names off the top of his head? It's a long ass list. 
as long as Schindler's List. I'm sorry, I had to. 850, give or take. Give or take what, Stern? Give or take what? Count them. How many? If you were still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. It's costing me a fortune. That means he's not doing it for business anymore. He's really just trying to save their lives. I can't wear your head in an account again. Why not? Wouldn't be right. She's just going to Yeah, Auschwitz. because he likes her. owning her. She's not going to Auschwitz. I'd never do that to her. We are Rosners. Henry, Mansi, and Leo. And our son. I'm Alex. Marcel Goldberg. Klipstein is a good Altman Edward. <laughs> Wonderful, Oleg. <laughs> Oleg, get another one. Resourceful ass kids. And it makes me sad that they're so dehydrated that they have to do that. The train with the women has already left Pwashov and will be arriving here very shortly. I know you've had a long journey, but it's only a short walk further to the factory where hot soup and bread is waiting for you. Now you're done. What do you like? Oh, what the hell was that about? Wait a minute. Are they supposed to be stopping here? In Auschwitz? Oh no. I think they got played. I think they got played. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 this is a gas room. I can't do this, man. I can't, I can't watch this. I can't, man. Oh, wait, it's just water? Or were they just trying to scare them? Like, I don't get it. I don't like that. I don't like that kind of game, man. I was about to, I was about to lose it. I was about to lose it, man. There's not many times in the movie where I say I can't watch this. And literally and literally can't watch it, but that would have been one of those times. I'm not making any judgment about you. It's just that I know that in the coming months we're all going to need portable wealth. The train comes, we turn it around. Mm, yes, yes. It's yours. I understand. I want these. Rezner Danka, Nussbaum Zidomia, Rosner Manchi, Hirsch. Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. How else am I to polish the inside of a 45 millimeter shell casing? You tell me. You tell me. Schindler is literally the only person that stands between them and. There will be no interference of any kind with production. In hopes of ensuring that, guards will no longer be allowed on the factory floor without my authorization. It's the only voice that matters out here. It's money. It's that green. It's the only thing that makes things happen around here. Like Schindler himself isn't like a special important man. Here's the man with money. I find that one of the most interesting parts about this movie. The artillery shells, tank shells, rocket casings, apparently all of them have failed quality control tests. That's to be expected. Oh. Startup problems. I'll call around, find out where we can buy shells. Pass them off as others. I don't see the difference. Whether they're made here or somewhere else. I don't see a difference? I... Oh, see, now he's trying to sabotage them. What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. Shouldn't you? Yeah, 
So now he really is just a safe haven oh. for Jews. Do you have any money? Uh, hidden away someplace that I don't know about. General Jodl signed the act of unconditional surrender. The German war is therefore at an end. But let us not forget for a moment... I think it's time the guards came into the factory. I'm a member of the Nazi party. I'm a munitions manufacturer. I'm a profiteer of slave labor. I am a criminal. At midnight, you'll be free, and I'll be hunted. Now would be the time to do it. Here they are. They're all here. This is your opportunity. Or you could leave and return to your families as men instead of murderers. It's too late for that, but... In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. Also, each person is to get a bottle of vodka. They won't drink it. They know its value. Likewise, those Egyptian cigarettes we organize. It'll be done. Everything you ask. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Damn, man. Wow, give him a hug, man. Give him a hug. Okay, a handshake will do. I could have got more out. I didn't do enough. You did so much. The two people. This is gold. Two more people. Me too far. Oh, you could have never saved them all. Give me one. One more. Could have gone. One more person. And I didn't. And I, I didn't. <laughs> By the Soviet army! Where should we go? Don't go east, that's for sure. They hate you there. <laughs> I wouldn't go west either, if I were you. <laughs> Of course, you'd be the one to say it till the end. No way. Those are the real Schindler Jews? That's his legacy right there, man. That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's like... <laughs> it's like this movie could have hit me any harder in the heart right now, you know what I mean? They got real people to be in the movie. Oh, that's his uh, ex-wife. No way. More than 6,000 descendants of Schindler's Jews in memory of the more than 6 million Jews murdered. Y'all, I'm mad at you guys. I'm mad at you guys for not telling me that this film was going to make me cry. <laughs> uh, talk about an experience. Uh, talk, about, talk about an experience. And it's even more of an amazing story to me because before this movie, I was completely unaware of Oscar Schindler or 
Schindler's Jews or anything like that. I mean, I said it multiple times within my reaction, but the realism of this movie um, just takes you to another place. It takes you to that place, in fact. And once again, I have to give Spielberg the props for taking it there because I can see so many directors and filmmakers shying away from some parts that he gave you the full depth in your face experience of whenever you saw one of the nazi soldiers shoot somebody you felt it too you know what i mean you felt you felt the coldness you felt the inhumanity of it all it was just it was something you never got used to in the movie no matter how many times you saw it how the movie portrayed them living day through day in constant fear was just something you couldn't even imagine there were scenes that would just make your blood boil and just make you sick to your stomach at the same time and while so many of those scenes are so difficult to watch i find them so important for a movie like this um for you to really grasp the horror of the actual event that took place much like saving private ryan i feel like this movie is one that people that actually experienced it won't be able to watch all the way through at least or even if you were close to somebody that went through something like this um it's definitely not a film for everybody but it is one of the most important films i think i've ever seen i mean the acting was also amazing um liam neeson uh obliterated that role the progression of his character throughout the movie was masterful um starting off as this try businessman that honestly looked like he was just playing monopoly at the beginning of the movie um putting his pieces into play he comes out successful profiting off these war-torn times and in the end actually witnessing the horrors of the holocaust and he gives away all his profits to save as many as he can it is a gut-wrenching story man um that end scene where he's crying about not saving as many Jews as he wanted or as he thought he could tore me up, man. <laughs> it tore me up more than I thought it could. But wow. Um, I mean, I knew I was in for a trip with this movie. Um, it's pretty infamous. And after seeing it now, I can see why. Definitely the most impactful World War II movie I think I've ever seen. Maybe war movie in general. And that damn theme song, man. Oh my God. It tore me up. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on my emotional first time watch for Schindler's List. Uh, leave me your thoughts on the movie in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and catch you in my next one. Peace.